Wedding Ringer is directed by Jeremy Gerlich and stars Kevin Hart and Kaylee Cuoco. Coco. Cuoco. And is a movie about Doug Harris, played by Josh Gad, who essentially hires Kevin Hart to be his best man at his wedding. Kevin Hart runs this business called Best Man Incorporated, who you can essentially hire him to be your best man if you don't have one. And he also supplies other packages for these weddings that you can have groomsmen. The problem is that Doug said he has seven groomsmen, in reality, he has zero. That requires Kevin Hart to pull off the thing they say they joke about called the Golden Tux. That's when they need to supply full groomsmen and a best man in only the 10 day span they are given. Now going to this movie, I thought this was just going to be a silly comedy movie with funny jokes, Kevin Hart moments, the whole package. Well it was, and it was that, but there was more to it. I don't know if you remember the movie Think Like a Man, I'm sure you do, and I'm sure those of you who've seen it probably enjoyed it simply because they took very real things and put it into a movie that was hysterical. That movie was so funny, I hurt myself. Actually, it's a funny story. It's not a joke when I say I hurt myself, but that, that's besides the point. And yes, that movie also had Kevin Hart in it, and that's not the reason I bring it up, but it took very real things from real life, things that people can relate to, and made a funny movie. I like when comedies do that, because sometimes I get scared when seeing a comedy movie, because either the movie is going to be hysterical, or I'm going to hate it. There's really no in-between on movies because the, the movie's not funny, the movie is just stupid. And very rarely are you going to have a movie that's supposed to be funny that's not funny, but turns out that's a good story, so you like it for the story. No, you, the movie has to be funny. Then, on top of that, the movie should be about something relevant. And that's how I like my comedies. I like them to take a very real thing, which this movie does. This movie touches upon things that... Ba things about true love, things about self-worth, things that you wouldn't think a stupid movie about these guys getting together and being fake groomsmen, you wouldn't think that this is about. The one thing though about this movie is I will have to say it's predictable. You're, you're going in basically knowing what's going to happen and I'm sorry if this is a spoiler but pretty much what Kevin Hart says in the trailer is this is strictly a business relationship you know they're going to become friends. You know that something's, you know, they're going to relate too much. They're... That's just a gift. I'm sorry, but if that's a spoiler for you, you clearly just don't understand how trailers work and how movies work. And if you really didn't see that coming, I am sorry, but that that's, I'm not going to put that on me to say a spoiler. But they become friends. I mean, it's just how it is. So that's the one thing I would probably take away from this movie. But there's another major thing that happens in this movie. I'm definitely not going to say, which bears major significance, and you really don't see coming. As the movie goes on, it hints it, but you don't necessarily see what happens. You don't necessarily 100% know it's going to happen based on what happens in this movie, which I like because, again, I don't want to know everything that's going to happen in the movie. Now, this movie was actually pretty touching. Like I said, it touches on things that are very relatable, and you can tell that this chemistry between Kevin Hart, this guy who has it all figured out and he's just he's been doing this and he's just good at it and this guy who basically his ne doesn't have friends and it explains why he doesn't have friends they essentially form a bond over one common thing again you have to see the movie to see what it is but it's a touching movie and on top of everything else like i said the movie is funny the movie has good jokes i wouldn't say it's the funniest movie i've ever seen i wouldn't say it's the best comedy movie i've ever seen but it's a very solid movie I would watch again. It's just one of those movies that I definitely would watch again just for a good time. Maybe let the feelings pass of ha watching it and I'd totally watch it again. Even Kaylee Cuoco, and I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing your name correctly, not that you're watching this, but if I'm pronouncing that name wrong, it just, I'm sorry, it just, it looks like Cuoco. She actually, she played a good role. She had a small significance, but she played a good role in this movie that she it was an important role. She was the guy's wife. I mean, she played... She was decent. I thought, you know, she if you like the Big Bang Theory, which she's known for, and you like how she presents herself on that, she presents herself the same way, kind of. Not really. I wouldn't say she did a good acting job, a bad acting job. I don't think anybody did a good or bad acting job. 
I think they they knew their lines, they said them, and they were funny. They were good lines, it was a good script, it was a good experience. One thing that I do want to say, just to say that I'm not praising this movie too much, the movie started off great. The movie started off strong, it got to the point, the rising action, as you would say, was great. The second act, however, dragged on a bit, I would say, only because, you know, when comedies do it, they say, all right, we are going to get up to a great point, we, we're not at the end yet, but we don't have a great plot to fill in. So we're going to make jokes, we're going to have, we're going to do things maybe we shouldn't do. And then, uh, okay, now we're at the end, which the end of this, again, was great. I left this movie being like, oh, okay, that's great. But then I saw Black Hat, and we all know how I felt about that movie. And Yeah. So for this movie, I'm going to give it a casual rating of a 6.5 to a 7. I enjoyed this movie a lot, it exceeded my expectations, and I think if you're into Kevin Hart and you're into comedy movies, I think it's a fun, relatable movie for everybody to enjoy. Now unfortunately for the critic rating, I'm gonna have to knock it down a bit to a 5 out of 10, simply because there are some silly moments in the movie, some things that don't add up, some things that you don't think have to be in there and make the movie a little longer than it has to be. With all that being said, I still recommend you definitely go see this movie. What do you think about Wedding Ringer? Did you like it? Did you not like it? What did you like and what didn't you like? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked what you saw in this video, smack that like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button and do everything you can to make this channel seem better than it actually is. Follow me on Twitter at Albino Films, Instagram Albino Films, and for any questions you might have for me, contact me at albinofilms365 at gmail.com. This has been an approved message from the region Albino. See you next time.